What is going on, everyone? People have been asking me about what they should do and expect when they get out of the Ignite servers. And since we will be able to transfer really, really soon, I figured I'd make this one video talking about preparations before transferring. And then maybe for tomorrow's video, it'll be about what you should expect once you transfer. So uh, before and after transfer sort of thing. Is that cool with everyone? So today's video is to make sure everyone is fully prepared for the departure of Ignite servers. Ding dong. This is your captain speaking. Make sure you fasten your seatbelts and enjoy your flight to legacy servers. All right, all right, I'm, I'm wasting time. I know people got some short attention spans. Let's go. This is assuming you are going to transfer your entire roster information to the legacy servers. Ignite players. You are 1620 now, right? So, I'm also 1620. Hopefully, you have been using the 2000 bound gold trick and have been doing your Thay mines, right? Now, I will say before you transfer to the legacy servers, there are a few things that you should make sure you should do. The so rule of thumb, everything has an ignite symbol will go bye bye. So cherish and love those items before it's time to let go of them. All the people asking me if the skins from the shop will transfer over. The answer is of course, it also doesn't have the fire symbol or extra confirmation okay so checklist time you are 1620 you should have level 3 transcendence but if you have been doing the 2000 bound gold trick I highly highly suggest to use up all of that gold all of this ignite server gold to do extra transcendence it costs a lot of gold and your gold is gonna go bye bye too so it's a no-brainer Get as many Transcendence levels done as much as you can. Didn't clear Thaymine? Well, well, well. That's what my streams and discords are for. A ton of love from people and I want to help out more people. So follow my Twitch and Discord for Ignite server help. I will put the links in the description. I am currently Mr. Worldwide, helping new players everywhere. NA East, NA West, EUC. To clear gate 1 and 2 and also to get the dreamer title all right next on the list did you complete the Arkesia tour don't skip past this this is your way of experiencing the horizontal grind of things in this game but you don't have to do this but I will say once you transfer over good luck doing the horizontals normally the Arkesia Tour is a great way to get a feel of horizontal, but not so much to bore you into doing every little thing. You have to do more horizontal stuff in tier 4, so we might as well try to skip the older horizontal content stuff, right? Alright, the next thing is quality tapping. So, not 100 quality, but I'm not an exploit user, caught! <laughs> anyway, make sure you are using every single quality tap material that you get from the bosses. If you are a new player and are wondering why, high quality makes life easier on both the armors and the weapon. Wow, look at that, 98 quality weapon. High quality armor will give you a lot more HP so that you will be tankier in rates. High quality weapon, well, kind of a no-brainer here, right? This can give you up to 30% additional damage. Quality tapping on Legacy costs a lot. I've spent hundreds of thousands of gold. Please do your quality taps before you transfer. They're free. You also even get more after you transfer in your gift. All right, the next thing is Elixirs. They gave us Luck 40 set. Like what in the world? You can't even convert it. Like here, this, 4-4. Four, four. Absolute trash. People will laugh at you in the legacy server if you are wearing luck. So, with the free elixirs that they give you, make sure to cut a helmet and glove to your appropriate set. If you need help, again, join my stream and my discord. I will help you with this. That is what I'm here for. Oh, 
And also as a bonus, if you go to this blue NPC, right, solo mode shop, solo mode exchange also gives you three weekly legendary elixirs if you need more. All right. But anyways, let's move on. Another thing I wanted to mention is roster level right over here. This one. So I have 75. This is low. This is highly looked at by all the wonderful gatekeepers in the legacy server. Yes, I saw even an Ignite server lobby for Thaymine asking for COS title. You can't even get COS title, so I'm assuming they're double checking that you have the Conqueror of Stars title on the Legacy server before you can play with them on the Ignite server. Like, that's gross, right? This is gross behavior, especially doing it on the Ignite server. But it shows you like a preview of how nasty it can get in the Legacy server. So. The best way to combat one itsy bitsy spot fighter part of gatekeeping is to increase this roster level. Title matters a lot too. But try to get this roster level up too. Run those towers, everyone. So in here, look for this one and run this on all of your characters. Delete most of them and then run it again and again, right? Just keep doing it to artificially increase this. All right, the, the other thing I wanted to talk about is accessories. Do you see this crap? This is the ones we got for free, but it may not be the correct spec for your character. And also the amount of spec is terrible. If you can find randomly good accessories, you know, from Chaos Dungeons and Raids that have a higher spec, make sure to use those instead. So for example, this one, I found this high quality earring that gives me 296 spec. This one is the free one. This gives me 282 spec. So I am missing 14 spec by taking this free one. And by the way, if you wear this in the legacy server, everybody will know you're a Ignite player. So we want to have our goal is to make sure we don't look like, like an, an Ignite player, right? I'm stumbling on my words, but I hope everybody understands that we want to make sure we look like a legacy player. As sad as that sounds. So make sure you convert all of your accessories to the appropriate one are we cool so far okay you can also take advantage of leveling your combat exp this one level 60.42 is what i have since you start at 60 as you continue to do chaos dungeons and raids and all that stuff this level will naturally go up you should try to aim for level 65 first for that initial power spike ability to level up your skills here to 13. And then once you get to the maximum of level 70, that's the cap currently, you will eventually hit level 14 skills. Now, you might be asking, how can you get extra combat EXP? This solo mode shop, actually, right here, you can buy a major combat EXP potion, 30 of these weekly, and this XL XP one time. So I definitely need to get these. I haven't done it yet but I will. These are very, very important. Also, you can go out to the ship over here, ready to sail and go to a ship called T and Libra, and you can find combat EXP potions there. Make sure you purchase all those XP potions. All right. And finally, let's see if I have any so far so I can give a clear cut example here. Oh, I don't. I don't. I guess I don't. I, I ran it already. Yeah, I already ran it. But you might have a cube ticket. So I, I could have just checked here. You go to your menu and then you go to what the heck is this? <laughs> Wait, what? I, I I don't like that. Give me this one. Oh, I didn't even unlock you. Okay. So yeah, I need to go here. Uh, journal guide. And then where's cube? Sorry, this is taking a while. Hold on. Wait, I don't see it. Am I tripping? Am I, am I blind or something? There should be a cube right here. But anyways, okay. I mean, I've done a cube before. So if you see a cube ticket, make sure you run those. That, that's the point I'm trying to make here, right? Because they also have a fire icon and you will lose that when you transfer. And why cube tickets? Cube tickets give you pretty good combat EXP. That's what we're on right now. Ooh, one more quick thing. Make sure you redeem everything you can. Like, for example, I'm sure 
some of you haven't done one of the most important ones, roster rewards. Make sure you scroll through each one, each one of these, and claim if you haven't, right? So scroll, 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 claim, okay? There's also, now that I'm reminded, rapport. These give you some good goodies that aren't insane, but still you should claim them too, so just press claim all here. Ooh, and also, adventure tome, right here. So make sure you double check that you claimed everything here. So like, for example, check like this, check like this. Ta -da, I got everything, I got everything. Like this, right? Oh, didn't claim this. I mean, this one doesn't matter because the fire emblems will disappear, but you, this is what it looks like, so you want to claim. Ta-da! That's how you do it. All good? All right. Well, I will say, if you want to do this in one swoop, I'd suggest finishing the Arkesia tour before you claim everything because it will start populating everything and you will get a bunch of rewards too, right? So you want to do it after you finish the Arkesia tour. Okay, okay, okay. And finally, and this is the real finally, you should have fully rested bonus. Meaning, you did not touch a single Guardian, single Chaos Dungeon, and a single Una's task. It should be all fully green. This is important because once you transfer to Tier 4 in the Legacy server, there are new materials to get, and you get bonus materials for having them rested. All your Tier 3 materials, like these shards, are obsolete soon. All right. I think that covers pretty much everything. Really had to squeeze out that last drop of toothpaste here. So I don't, or I hope I don't miss anything. Again, if you made it to this point, follow my Twitch and Discord so you get update on when I stream and when I do helping stuff for you all. All right, and Pineapple Gang, you all are very cutesy with your word sneaking in. So let's try Blaze It 420 this time. I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.